So what is the value? Hundred rupees is the value. On that hundred rupees, we are supposed to give fifteen percent as interest for the debentures. Ten percent is the interest on what? On rupees hundred each. Repayable after ten years. So what is number of years? Ten years. When the tax rate is given, it is after tax. When tax rate is not given, then it is before tax. Hello everybody. I'm Divya, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce and Management, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, Mysuru, the Temple of Excellence. Today, my dear students, I welcome you all for the session five on your chapter number one, Cost of Capital. Moving forward, the agenda for today's discussion, concepts and problems. So in the last class, we have discussed regarding the problems of redeemable debenture. In today's class also, we'll be solving the problems on redeemable debentures before tax and after tax. Let us read out the question that is your problem number four. A company issued 10,000 10% debenture of rupees 100 each. So what is the interest? 10% is the interest on what? On rupees 100 each. Repayable after 10 years. So what is number of years? 10 years. At a premium of 6%. So after 10 years, they are redeeming at the premium of 6%. The company incurred flotation cost on issuing the debenture of rupees 3. The corporate tax rate is 30%. So since tax is given, we have to solve the problem of before tax and as well as after tax. Calculate the cost of debenture. So we have the formula. So this is what this is before tax. So what is the formula before tax? Cost of debt is equal to interest plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds minus maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So this is the formula before tax. So let us solve the given first. So what is given? Given. What is given? Number of years is given. Interest is given. So what is interest? 100 rupees each at 10% interest. So your interest will be 10 rupees. So 100 into 10%, the answer will be 10 rupees. And what is the net proceeds? Net proceeds is rupees 100. Net proceeds is 100 rupees. And the number of years is 10 years. Flotation cost that is incurred 3 rupees. So on your net proceeds, we have to deduct that flotation cost 3 rupees. So your net proceeds will be 97. So net proceeds will be 97. Interest is 10 rupees. Your number of years is 10 years and the maturity value since after 10 years, we are redeeming at a premium of rupees. 6% that is your 6 rupees on 100 it will be 106 rupees maturity value will be 100 into 6 divided by 100 it will be 6% it will be 6% maturity value is 6% number of years is 10 years your net proceeds is 97 and the interest is 10. So let us substitute all the values into the formula and check out what is cost of debt. Interest rupees 10 plus maturity value is 106 minus net proceeds is 97 divided by the number of years is what is the number of years? 10 years is the number of years whole divided by Maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2 will be the answer for the substitution. So let us look at what is cost of debt by using a calculator. So let's solve the bracket first. 
106 minus 97 it is 9 divided by 10 it will be 0 0.9 divided by maturity value let's solve this bracket next 106 plus 97 divided by 2 the answer will be 102 so now let's add with the interest and then divided by 102 so 10 plus 0 0.9 it will be 10.9 10.9 divided by 102 so 10.9 divided by 102 it will be 0 0.1068 if you convert that into the percentage the answer will be or the answer will be 10.68 percent so this is the cost of debt your redeemable debt so this is the cost of debt before tax redeemable so now let us do after tax problem so what is after tax formula only along with this we have to take up the tax rate into the formula so that becomes your cost of debt after tax so what is the formula one minus tax into interest plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by two so that will be the formula for cost of debt after tax after tax formula will be cost of debt is equal to 1 minus tax interest plus maturity value minus net proceeds divided by number of years whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2 so this is the formula that is after tax so all the formula all the values we have let's put the values into the formula and check out what is cost of redeemable debt so what is there interest is given interest is how much 10 rupees 1 minus tax what is the tax rate given in the question 30% is the tax rate that will be 0 0.3 plus what is the maturity value? Maturity value since it is redeemed at premium the maturity value will be 106 rupees. So 106 rupees minus what is the net proceeds we have got? Deducting the flotation costs, deducting all the expenses, it will be 97 rupees. So, 97 divided by what is the number of years? How many years the redeemable value they have given? 10 years. Number of years is 10 whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by 2. So, as we have discussed, let's solve this bracket first. 106 minus 97 it will be 9 divided by 10 so cost of debt is equal to 1 minus 0 0.3 it will be 0 0.7 10 it's 10 plus so what is the value we have got 0 0.9 is the value we have got divided by what is this value 0 0.6 plus 97 divided by 2 the answer will be 101.5 is the answer that we have got and now let's substitute the remaining values next next step is what so we'll uh, multiply with 0 0.7 into your interest rate so 0 0.7 into 10 is the interest it is 7 plus 0 0.9 divided by 101.5 so let's add it with the remaining values this value 7 plus 0 0.9 it will be 7.9 7.9 divided by 101.5 so 7.9 divided by 101.5 the answer will be 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन सेवन और इट इज सेवन परसेंट सो दिस इज कॉस्ट ऑफ डेट रिडीमेबल डेट आफ्टर टैक्स सो दिस इज हाउ वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड इन द प्रीवियस क्लास ऑल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इिडीमेबल डेट बिफोर टैक्स एंड आफ्टर टैक्स इन टू डेज क्लास ऑल्सो विल बी डिस्कसिंग वन मोर प्रॉब्लम ऑन योर Redeemable debt. So let us look at the question number. Your problem number five. Diksha Limited issue five years fifteen percent debenture. So what is five years? Since five years is given, number of years is given. It is what? It is redeemable debenture. So what is your given? Given is equal to. So what is given in the question? Number of years is how much? Five years. Fifteen percent is the interest rate given on your hundred rupees. So it will be fifteen rupees. So what it will be? It will be fifteen rupees. So your interest will be fifteen rupees. Your interest will be what? Fifteen rupees. How we got fifteen rupees on face value? So what is the value? Hundred rupees is the value. On that hundred rupees, we are supposed to give fifteen percent as interest for the debenture. So hundred into fifteen divided by hundred, it will be fifteen rupees. So your interest will be fifteen rupees. And the net price of Nine seven point five is the net proceeds. So what is net proceeds? Net proceeds they have given in the question. It is ninety seven point seven five. So they have only issued at a discount. So the discount value is already given. That is what. Ninety seven point seven five. The debenture will be redeemed at five percent premium in maturity. So when it is re redeemed, the value will be on premium. So what is the premium percentage? Five percent. So your maturity value will be hundred rupees into what is the premium amount? Five percent is the premium amount. So five rupees extra. So hundred and five will be the maturity value. So what is the maturity? Value? Value hundred and five is the maturity value. Since the tax rate is not given, it is before tax problem. So the formula for before tax problem it is interest plus maturity value minus NP divided by N whole divided by maturity value plus net proceeds divided by two. So what is the interest? We have calculated the interest. Fifteen rupees is the interest plus What is the maturity value? Maturity value is one hundred and five. And what is net proceeds? Net proceeds is ninety seven point ninety seven point seven five. So in the question, there is no flotation cost given, or there is no transaction cost is given, or the expenses with respect to issue of shares. So directly they have given this value ninety seven point seven five. So it is nothing but they have issued at discount. So we are taken that ninety seven point seven five value divided by what is the number of years? Five years is the number of years whole divided by Maturity value plus net proceeds divided by two. So this will be the values for the formula. So let's use the calculator and find out what is the answer. So let's solve the this bracket first. So one not five minus ninety seven point seven five. Divided by five, the answer we got is one point four five, fifteen rupees plus one point four five. Divided by next, what is the next calculation we have to do? We have to do second bracket calculation. That is your denominator calculation. So one not five plus ninety seven point seven five divided by two. The answer you get is one zero one point three seven five. So now, what is the next step? You have to add this amount with the interest. So what is the fifteen rupees plus one point four five? It will be sixteen point four five divided by one zero one point three seven five. 
16.45 divided by 101.375, the answer will be 0 0.1662. The answer will be 0 0.1662, cost of debt before tax. 0 0.162 is the answer that we have got. So, this is what we have done for before tax. So, I will just move out of the screen. My dear students, kindly take up the screenshot because you have to solve this problem on a daily basis. If you solve the problems on a daily basis, it will be very helpful for you to understand when we calculate the VAC problem. So, do it on a daily basis. Take up the questions from the textbook and kindly solve the problems. So, this is your problem number four, before tax and after tax. Your problem number five, before tax. So, in your examination, how do you all understand whether it is before tax or after tax? You will ask me, ma'am, how can we identify when the tax rate is given, it is after tax. When tax rate is not given, then it is before tax. So, you have to identify and then substitute the formula and then calculate the problems. Moving forward, that's it for today, my dear students. Hope the problem was very interesting and easy. So, keep learning, keep smiling. So, stay fit, stay healthy. Smile is the biggest jewel you can wear. Keep smiling, my dear students. Thank you.